in Hong Kong. And let's talk now to Kerry Allen, who's China analyst with BBC Monitoring, as we continue to look at these extraordinary live pictures from inside the Legislative Council building. And let's just talk about what, if any, of all of this will be broadcast or shown or talked about in the mainstream Chinese media in China. Well, interestingly, this morning, China had its message, basically. I mean, it's it started to, since these protests began over three weeks ago, it started to, it originally censored any discussion whatsoever of the protests. But today, in the morning, I mean, basically, there are two anniversaries here. There's the 22nd year of the handover from of Hong Kong from the UK to China. But it's also the 98th anniversary of the Communist Party. So there's a big message in China about, look how strong the Communist Party is. And, uh, you know, basically, Hong Kong wants to be part of China, this message that Hong Kong is an integral, mess uh, an integral part of China. Um, but at the same time, um, they, yeah, they've been putting out footage showing um, protests that, um, that are happening to support the police. I mean, what they've been doing in recent weeks is talking about hooliganism, um, acts of vandalism in the country. They've not been showing any peaceful protests whatsoever. Pictures of those have been censored. So, I mean, the, Basically, today, when protesters were um, smashing the windows of the Legislative Council, um, it, was, it was in Beijing's favour because they could handpick these images and this video and they could use it further down the line. But what's happened now is because they actually managed to get into the building, um, this is, you know, the government will be nervous about this. I mean, the idea that you could break into a government building is horrifying to the Beijing government. So what I've noticed within the last hour is that all these words that were censored weeks ago are suddenly censored again. So words like Hong Kong, for example, um, March, um, and yeah, the Legislative Council, Hong Kong's government, for example, I mean, they were relaxed because, you know, Beijing could say, well, you know, there's, it's just acts of vandalism by people who are being brainwashed by the US government. Um, but, uh, but now that protesters have actually managed to get into a government building, Beijing is going, OK, we can't let people see this. So they don't want any, any of that invasion, that sort of occupation of the Legislative Council chamber. They won't want that disseminated or reported on at all? No, absolutely not. I mean, basically this idea that Hong Kong, and on today as well, the idea that Hong Kong is part of China is a message that comes up again and again and again. And uh, I mean, basically there's a real austerity, a kind of, you know, a seriousness around um, Chinese politics. I mean, you couldn't just break into a government building. That kind of idea is to, to Beijing, you know, you just, you just wouldn't see this. And what about thing. the whole debate that the, the, the people of Hong Kong they don't want this extradition bill. They don't want suspects being extradited to mainland China. Is any of that being discussed in the wider Chinese media? Well, the bill is. Um, I mean, basically, when the bill was suspended by Carrie Lam two weeks ago, um, Beijing did acknowledge, OK, maybe, you know, we need to go back and we need to look at ways we can change this. Um, but, um, but, yeah, only this. I mean, you know, the protests, for example, any, any protests are seen as acts of dissent against the Communist Party because the Communist Party supports this bill. And this bill, even though it's a Hong Kong bill, China sees it as a Chinese bill. I mean, Hong Kong is an area that belongs to China, so it sees, so, yeah, basically, you can't have any acts of protesting government rule. Mm. All right. Uh, for the moment, Kerry Allen, thank you very much indeed. Kerry Allen there, a China media analyst with BBC Monitor.